Hello, good morning, it's me Kimberly. I'm here with a coloring book review. This one is Myth Morphia by Kirby Rosanis. Um, I've seen this book on Amazon and I've also seen her the other two books that the person has. Uh, this is my first book actually because um, I love mythological creatures. And I picked this book up at my local Walmart. Um, it was originally retailed for $9 and 78 cents I bought it for seven dollars at 84 cents I'm so sorry for the yawn it's really early in the morning um, I'm doing this before I go to work I didn't get much sleep last night so yeah anyway uh, let's get started the cover is a matte finish um, I don't really think it's colorable, but you can try maybe with markers, but I doubt it. Um, the paper has a cardstock like quality to it. Um, not a thick cardstock and not a skinny cardstock, but average, I would say. Um, this is the title page, which is colorable. And then you have this inside images, which are also colorable. And then you have more information about the book. And then you have this little page here from the uh, artist itself about finding unusual images in the book as you color each page. Now, these pages are double-sided, and some of these images are unfortunately stuck in the binding, so you have to push really hard on the spine to push it out as I'm doing on the camera just so you can see how hard it is the binding is glued so it's very stiff so it makes it very hard to open the book uh, I took the liberty of stretching out the binding as much as I could beforehand that way when I did this book review I wouldn't have a hard time opening it and showing both sides of the pictures. And again, a lot of these double paged images are like that where a lot of it goes toward the binding. Me, I prefer my books where the images are not in the binding so that way you could still color them. Now, a lot of these images also kind of remind me of a Wiccan theme or pagan themed, such as this one. I've seen this particular image um, in a tarot card set. Uh, I forget what they call him, but I have seen him before. Now, some images are not as detailed as others, but then you have pages like these that are very detailed. To me, I would think of him as Father Time, only because, you know, or Old Man Moon maybe, because of the planet of the moons, and then Saturn there, time, a dream catcher, you know, things to do with sleeping. That would be my theme to think of. And then you have these dryads, or wood nymphs, whatever you want to call them. Now this particular one, I'm very fascinated with. It's a fox or a wolf, either or, doesn't matter. I counted the number of tails he has. He has eight, unfortunately. 
but he does remind me of a Pokemon known as Ninetales. So I may color him after that fashion, just to give it like a Pokemon theme for me. I like this one because it has mermaids in it, and mermaids are one of my favorites. And again, what I said about pagan theme, on this particular set, one of the items to find has a book with a star on it which is a pentacle so again that's why I say it's kind of pagan themed it may not be for some people who are religious such as Christian Catholic who don't believe in that stuff who think it might be a little too witchcrafty for them but to me it's it's just a coloring book but it does have some pagan undertones to it this one's another one of my favorites where it has the body of what could be the Sphinx with the face of a person and then it has the pyramids all around it. And then this one would be like a griffin, you know what I mean? And then you have what would be like the minotaur the Phoenix, Medusa. Then you have this guy here, which would be Anubis. And then you have dragons. And you have these lizard looking thing and spider one. And then you have the Chinese dragon. Now, I had originally done a video prior to this, which I did not upload, only because it only showed a portion of the book. I had stopped somewhere, and I had asked a few people on Facebook if they thought that I should show the entire book or only partial, and they recommended that I just show the entire book. So here I am re-recording this book all over again, but showing it in its entire capacity this time around. I do apologize for that cutoff. Um, my alarm went off at that point. I thought I had more time, so here we go. Finishing up the last few pages. And these two are also my favorite because obviously mermaids, or mermaid and merman, I should say. And that's the end of the book now these are obviously things that you can find within the book itself uh, let's see if I can find okay like I was saying you have a cauldron you have um, where is it crystal ball a gift rune um, let's see over here on this side you have the tar the full tarot card so again a year rune the tower card ruin Magic rune, sun rune, uh, another sun rune. Oh, sorry, that's a, sun, a magic ring. This is a sun rune, a wealth rune, uh, the 
world tarot card and a spell book like I said so a lot of not all of these artifacts but a good portion of them have to do with pagan stuff so if you're not gonna like it then that's on you but again like I said it's just a coloring book so don't take it personal and then these are just the images with the locations of where you can find the item in question that you're supposed to be searching for okay thank you for watching have a nice day